Hey guys and gals, Matt from soundrolling.com and today I am going to give you my first impressions on the DPA Slim and also its buttonhole mount. Uh, now this is what you're hearing right now and what I'm wearing. This is actually going through a WYSIWYG set um, and to a, to a 688 as well. So let's have a look. You can kind of hopefully see where it is if you kind of zoom in there. Go all the way in, it's just below the button. And there you go, you can hear it. Um, and the whole idea of this is that it's basically poked out a little um, hole directly leading to the mic. Um, so initially, I mean, you can't see it. If you go to a wider shot, um, then you're not, yeah, you're never going to be able to notice that I'm wearing it. It sounds fine. It's good because it's exposed. Um, this is obviously really good for indoor. One of the things I noticed pretty early on is that if I go or something like that, the, because it's open to the wind uh, and the elements, um, you're definitely going to get wind noise. So maybe, yeah, obviously on this polo shirt, I can't really place it in many other buttons. So there's only so many places I can go with it. But it's a, just another thing to consider that uh, wind, wind factors uh, may be coming into play. Uh, but let's kind of just show you. So this is... Uh, basically it, the DPA Slim, and then this is the little buttonhole uh, mount at the side. So, there we go. So this is the Slim on its own, and then this is the, the kind of extra mounting capsule. Interesting thing about the Slim is that it's obviously kind of um, top and kind of side address. I mean, obviously uh, these are omnidirectional mics, but kind of like a, how a tram used to be, whereas the up and the back, uh, this has it on both sides. Um, the only mounting option I have for now to test is the buttonhole mount. Um, and so you can see the whole idea is just the hole right there uh, to get it in. I've used some Ursa tape. I'm using uh, a cable wrap that I did uh, in a previous video just to reduce any cable noise. Um, that's basically what I just thought I'd do is you get to the hole, you put it just below the hole, tape it in, and then you can button the shirt. Double check that you haven't uh, double check that you haven't messed it up too much. But that should be pretty good. I think that's still sounding alright. Maybe I'm a little low. It's now sounding slightly different. I don't know if I've done anything. Um, so let's turn it up a little bit. So so there we have it. That's just my rough first thoughts on on the on the DPA in terms of the button mount. The button mount is a very very useful feature. It's quite a few people um, like Andrew Jones making stuff for the COS 11 as well um, with the kind of 3D printing and that kind of thing. Um, but this is, yeah, definitely a very, very clever design. Um, and I look forward to trying it with more mounting options. Get down in the comments below if you've used it already and you have any tips or tricks for anyone else out there as well. Um, so here's another YouTube video that you can watch. And uh, until next time, see you later.